In this video, I'm going to give you guys a recap on gold, a trade that I taken today on the 27th of August 2024. So make sure you crank up the volume, take some notes and dial in. Now guys, this is a very simple trade. It's something you'll see quite often when the market moves quite impulsively, especially during the session within the first few hours of the, well, first two hours of the market open. So if you want to go ahead and backtest this and even not just necessarily backtest, but more so review past the data, you should um, definitely do so because you'll see after an impulsive shift, you can get you know a nice reversal, the right timing behind it as well. Uh, so guys, again, there wasn't any high time from the vault, it more so just the intraday time frame uh, M15 and obviously my M1 for entry, but it's a very simple trade. So let's just jump straight into it. But before I do, as you can see here on the 15 minute time frame, guys, obviously we would come out the A session here, we've moved up bullish item potential bar opportunities uh, if you were up that early now we did tap into h4 supply which is also refined from this m15 time frame here as you can see we refined it here pretty nicely price tapped into it and filled the imbalance there as well and obviously the next thing to do was obviously react to it in which we did and then we just you know shifted bearish to the downside there we did pull back up here and wicked out this high minorly so you could have potentially got a nice sweep entry there to the downside if you know uh, or if you're in the certifex academy then you'll understand um, but that provided a nice short there to the downside too. Now looking at this here, as, as, as you can see, again, this is a session, so obviously there's liquidity either side of this. So obviously to the downside, uh, in this case, we swept out the edge of lows, and we also swept out this M15 zone here. And obviously from this POI, there is no doubt going to be quite a fair few buyers from the area. Therefore, they'll have their stop loss within this vicinity here below the edge of lows as well. So obviously the liquidity is there to the downside. As you can see, price impulsively shifted the downside as well, and we then created this range high and low. So I knew that yes, we was in a bearish range, but we were quite overextended and we had just swept liquidity, therefore I was expecting a potential reversal to the upside. And that is exactly what I was hoping for, and that's exactly what I got. Now, ideally I was looking to target into this area as well, but I did close just a little bit before, which lined up with this high time frame, well, 15 minute imbalance here, right? So I just closed a little bit below that, um, as because when it comes to targets, especially reversals, I like to try and target an imbalance just below or above the POI that I'm anticipating price to potentially react from within the actual pro trend of that market, right? Um, again, this is a counter trend trade, it's just catching reversal. So for you as a beginner, it probably won't be so good for you to catch a reversal or you know counter trend trades. It's probably better for you to focus on pro trend trades, but I'd still highly recommend you check this out. But anyways, let's just jump straight down to the one minute. As you know, my high time frame or, well, intraday for M15 time frame view. You already know what's going on. And if you don't, then make sure you go ahead and replay the video and write down some notes because there are some key points there that made this bias possible. Now, when we jump onto the M1 here, guys, as you can see, we had a nice shift to the upside. Now, no doubt there's going to be pure price action for people who trade just solidly M1 time frame, right? That's fine. But there's no doubt going to be a seller within this vicinity here. Therefore, there's going to be stop loss within this areas. So we can look to trade into that, right? Now, again, this is a clear order block, clear as daylight, you know, imbalance below it, it broke structure, um, etc. right? Obviously, there's a couple of things like it didn't speak liquidity, but it's still considered a valid order block. Now, when we forward price, as you can see, we just violated that order block. However, we can look at that now as a breaker because that's exactly what a breaker is. If you don't know what a breaker is, it's essentially a zone like it's violated, but then respected on the flip side of the market. So in this case, this is a supply zone that I wanted to sell from, AKA an order block. And um, it's now turned into an order block that I want to buy from, AKA demand zone, okay? So the way I trade, even though I'm trading all these different concepts like order blocks, imbalances, or a fair value gaps, whatever you like to refer to them as, I don't really refer to them as that. I just refer to them as supply and demand because the way I trade is I've taken all these concepts in the trade industry, I've refined it into my own, I've back tested some data, I've tweaked a little, you know, tweaked a little settings here and there, and I've just renamed it in terms of, well, not renamed it, it's just renamed into supply and demand. That's the only reason why I refer to it as supply and demand, just for those of you guys that are new to the channel and may be wondering. That's the only reason why I refer to them as supply and demand, even though it is an order block or a breaker block. But Let's just continue this video. And now the next thing to do is obviously, well, if we just look at this, right, you've got your consolidation, you've got your order block here, right? Price violates it, doesn't even react to it, but then respects it on the flip side. So that exactly at this point right here in the moment, I was looking for, an ex you know, visualizing this in my head to play out potentially. So 
as you can see here, we get we form a high, so therefore we have actually closed above bullish. We are now in a bullish range on the one minute time frame. So we want to try and stay inside of that bullish range up into where we potentially want to see price react from on the 15 minute time frame, right? Or my um, intraday time frame, okay? Now, all that we're looking for is an engulfing candle. Now, there was, I believe, a little one here. As you can see, that closed up, up above here. I prefer one candle kind of combination. So, for example, like the next candle here, like this didn't take out this engulfing candle here. Usually, I do prefer to enter off them, but I don't mind if it's a few candles like this. Now, I didn't take this one. I took the next one. So, I'll show you guys. I took this one right here. Okay. So, where my long position was, it was exactly there. And my stop loss was pretty aggressive. It was a little bit. I gave a little couple of pips, but moved just below. And then I was looking to target into this high here because remember what I said earlier in the video, I prefer to target into the imbalances just below or above the POIs, okay? And obviously when we zoom out, that aligns up with this 15 minute imbalance open anyways, okay? So that's exactly where my target was. Even though I was expecting or anticipating price to come up into this, you know, M15 highs here and mitigate the supplies out and I'm expecting it to be bearish. You can look to short from there, that's fine. But I'm happy in my original position as it was a nice, just under, well, I'd consider that one to three, just under a one to three, obviously, when you factor in commissions, uh, etc. right? But as you can see here, a very simple trade. Um, you know, we've closed above this engulfing to the downside here. So obviously, we closed above it, indicating further upside potential. And now I've already explained, you know, previously what happened here. We had this chuck here or, you know, shift, pull back into the, what is now a breaker, engulfing candle, etc. right? So you already know the process, but let's just watch it hit TP anyways. A very simple trade even provided more opportunities later on too if you missed that one so i'll show you guys them as well so as you can see we have a now a potential demand chain so if we're going to continue bullish maybe if we pull back into this area we should respect it right and now this is what i refer to or once it's been respected once it's been mitigated two or more times simply like a trend line in order what's you know what validates a trend line or support resistance zone is two or more touches right just exactly like supply demand chains a chain is it needs at least two mitigations so to speak okay and then obviously that is your supply demand chain then obviously price reversed bullish from here too um so even if you know this didn't hit tp and it pulled back would i have kept it open potentially i would have seen you know if it didn't take out this high yes i probably would have kept it open and let it run but because we took out the high we entered into a new bullish range and then took out this low i probably would have closed below here but that's just if that had happened, but it didn't, okay? But it hit TP for just for a nice one under, under one to three. Pretty simple trade, 1% risk, 3% reward uh, on my personal account. And, um, you know, it was just a brilliant trade, really. And now, obviously, from there, if I just, you know, let price fall, you know, flip forward, as you can see, we just reacted bearish off that, which is kind of expected. So whether we will, or, you know, whether or not we go on to take out this M15 low is a different story. But I'm no longer interested in this because I had already taken my trade during the times of what I trade from. So guys, that is pretty much the trade on gold. If you want to learn more about how I trade, make sure you check out my brand new mentorship that I've just launched as of July 2024. I'm already seeing crazy success and we're only in August. So I'm excited to see where we're going to be at the end of the year. We're definitely going to be in places that we thought we'd never even be in. So guys, make sure to run up the subscribe button. I like this video, turn on notifications and I'll definitely be pumping out a lot more videos. See you in the next one, guys. Take care.